Hi, if you're a SaaS company and your JavaScript tag is installed on external websites, this video is for you. There are many SaaS products that change or enhance experience on the customer websites, like A-B testing products, recommendation engines, personalization engines, customer feedback and onboarding products. So as a developer, QA, product manager, sometimes we want to test the product directly on the customer websites but content security policy is a blocker. So in this video, we will understand what is content security policy and how we can use requestly to bypass CSP to make our testing more efficient. CSP is basically designed to prevent websites from security attacks like cross site scripting attacks or click jacking. CSP is basically a list of directives that tells browsers to restrict loading content from certain domains only that are mentioned in the policy. CSP can also tell browsers to restrict running the unsafe JavaScript or inline JavaScript, or sometimes even uh, loading the, the form, form executions. CSP is usually implemented in two ways. One is via HTML meta tag, and the most common practice is HTTP response header. So let's take an example on apple.com. So I open the Chrome developer tools and open the network tab. When I refresh the page on apple.com, I can see a response header called content security policy. And I can see some directives like default SRC, script SRC and style SRC. So you can see in the script SRC, it's mentioned that it is safe to load scripts from star.apple.com, even instagram.com and platform.twitter.com but your script may be on some other domain. So you will not be able to load script from your domain. So let's take an example. So I have a mini script which tries to load jQuery from code.jquery.com. And when I run this script, it obviously fails and it mentions that content security policy directive is violated. But Requestly comes to rescue. So Requestly is a developer tool using which you can intercept and modify network request directly in the browser. You can install Requestly from requestly.io on your favorite browser as a browser extension or as a desktop app. Once you install Requestly, you can click on the Requestly icon to open the configuration page and you can create a new rule. Requestly provides several modification types like redirecting a request from one endpoint to another endpoint, modifying the query parameters, blocking the request URLs, injecting scripts on the page, or modifying API response bodies. In this case, we will use modify headers. So let's create a new modify headers tool and let's say apple.com CSP rule. And we know the request URL contains apple.com and we want to modify response header. So we select the second tab and we choose the remove response header option. And we use content security policy as the header name. Once this is done, I save the rule. I go back to apple.com and refresh the page. So you can see a tiny console log here from Requestly that it applied some rule on this page. And Requestly I can also turn screen to give you an indicator that some rule has been applied. So let's try loading jQuery again. Voila, you can see the success callback has been executed. Now let's try running a jQuery based command. So you can see this dollar is usually a uh, jQuery uh, placeholder. So now I'm trying to add body, a border to the body element. When I do this, you can see there's a border added to the body, which confirms that jQuery has been loaded fine. You can also confirm this from network tab. Yeah, so jQuery is 200. So this is how you can modify or remove response uh, header using requestly. And this is pretty handy. Uh, especially when you have to uh, give a demo on a potential customer site. But more on that later. For now, stay tuned and happy debugging.